Hello and welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I've got a quick custom action that will reset your entire mix. So the situations you might need this is if someone sends you a session and it's a complete mess and you just want to restart without any of the plugins uh, or any of the automation or effects that they've added to items. I do this even with my own mixes. Sometimes I'll just start down a path and find that I just don't like the mix and it can be a pain to like manually remove each plugin and all that kind of stuff or try to salvage it in some other way. Sometimes it's just better to start over. This action will save some time because it will just kind of reset everything. All the panning, volume, track effects, item effects, and item automation. I think I've covered everything except for um, if, if a track is muted, it's going to stay muted. If uh, a track has uh, polarity invert, then that's going to stay there. Any sends that are on a track are going to stay there. So let's just look at this session for a moment. So I've got uh, MIDI here. I've got some volume automation on this bass track. Um, let's see. These keyboard parts have some um, item volume on them. There's some vol volume automation here. The lead vocal has some panning automation on it. There's a, an effect on this uh, item here. And then there's lots of effects in the mixer. So I'm going to run the action. I've got this saved to the, um, the actions menu, and it saves a little bit of time. So full mix, reset, visible tracks and items. It takes a couple seconds for this to run. It's going to select all the tracks, uh, reset those, then it's going to move on to resetting the items. And so we can ignore that these are offline. They were offline when we started this, um, but it looks like the effects, the automation on these items has all been removed. The item volumes have been reset. Um, in the mixer, all the track faders are back up to zero. The panning is reset, but um, the multi-channel routing for those drums is, is still there. The sends to drum reverbs, they're still there. So let's look at the actual action in the action list. So I call this full mix reset visible tracks and items. First is going to select all the tracks. Then it's going to select the master track as well. It will clear the effects chain for selected tracks. Then it will reset volume and pan of those selected tracks. Then it will remove all envelopes for selected tracks. Now this is something that you need to pay attention to. If you don't have the beta version of the SWS extension, then your project will crash at this point. If you can't get a hold of the SWS extension beta uh, that fixes that, then you need to um, remove the select master track option from this action. And so then clearing the envelope won't crash Reaper for you. So next it goes to the time selection. And if there's a time selection, it's going to remove that and any loop points. Then it's going to focus the arrange. So then when we do the next action, select all items, tracks, envelope points, depending on focus, that's going to make sure that it selects the items not the tracks. It will then reset all the item volumes to zero, remove any effects on item takes, and then there is a script which is available in Repack, delete selected items, active take envelopes. And I've enabled the toggle, consolidate undo points, and show in actions menu uh, just for convenience. So this does require the SWS extension and also Repack to get that one script that's required to remove the take envelopes. But other than that, it's, yeah, it, you've already seen how it works and it works pretty well. So be careful with it and um, be aware that you do need that SWS beta or you need the, uh, just remove the master track and do that manually yourself uh, separately. So that's it. There will be a link to download this custom action. It will be below this video and in the article and uh, at some point, it will also be in my big bundle of actions and everything for um, the Reaper blog patrons and newsletter subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can join the Facebook group for Reaper blog community. You can support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.